of time, okay? Come on, Tillin. Why are you in bed? Why? Why am I in bed, is that what you said? Mm. Um, I missed my alarm and I missed my wake-up call. Um, the first thing I knew today was this time. So I missed the whole morning. So this is Caroline, I've got 150 exams next week, BT. Mm. Carla, these books you read for uni, or are they just books for fun? Half and half. <clears throat> they mixed. Half are for uni. Beneath the Mask, Introduction to Theories of Personality. Yes. Is that for fun or work? That's, that's what was my textbook last semester for personality. Wide Awake in America. That's <laughs> you too. Child Development. That's Education. The Knox Grammarian. That's recreational. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. Down Goes off every nine minutes. Goes every nine minutes, you still can't get out of bed. Oh, I hit it, I hit it in my sleep, I'm serious. Andrew, what are you going to say in your thesis about Theo Astley? I mean, well, the thing I'm interested in is, is, is how she presents relationships between men and women, and, 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 and they're just fraught with infidelity of the worst kind. I mean, I don't know what happened to poor Thea, but um, maybe nothing. But there's so much infidelity in those books. And I find infidelity oh, just depresses me anyway, so that's why I find it so hard to get through some of her books. Um, but so, but I want to write about that. Um, you want to write about? You want to speculate about the author's infidelity? No, 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 not about hers, but just, just how she, just, just how she presents her relationships. But I don't know. I haven't crystallised it exactly in my mind as to as to as to how she does, or, or, you know, is there one particular way that she does in all the books? I don't think so. I mean, I think I may as well talk about her variety as much as. As, as, as anything that all the books have in common. Um, so that's going to be your angle? Well, I think so. I mean, men and women and how they just don't get along in Theodore Astley. Um, which I don't think... Or in life, particularly. Well, yeah, as in, as in real life. Standing over, it you know, uh, he's got a cigarette T-shirt on. By the window. Yep, the guy with the gold-rimmed glasses. I think he's cool. He is the essence of cool. Everybody knows him. He knows everybody. I've spoken to him before. He knows who I am. He doesn't know my name. But he certainly knows who I am. But he is like a ringleader of this Manning crowd. There's certain guys you don't even attempt to get. Um, some guys are on the border and if you, if you can just get them and, and that's good. It's just not good to go out with a guy who's not on your level. Because he'll always be the one that has upper hand. So can you point to anyone here who's on your level? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> no, I can't wait. Or I can't. Because it, it's not just a attractive physical attractiveness, it's, it's a coolness as well. It's the amount, amount of friends that you have, it's who you know, it's what you wear, as well as how you look. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I do know what you mean. But I also think it's possible to misunderstand your level. Well, what about this couple here, this type of mirrors? Yes. Are you on the same level? Or? Yeah, well, probably below. <laughs> She would be <laughs> slightly above me, or, or, or above me, probably. What about him? He, he's pretty much on her level. That's why they look like a happy couple. Do you think they're happy? Yes. How can you tell? <laughs> so I've been watching them. They're all smiles. What are they doing now? They're rumbling. That's what happy couples do. They get in silly moods. What's rumbling? Rumbling <laughs> is having a silly pretend fight and then ending up on top of each other, but not in a, um, in a, in a bedroom situation. So is it a kind of foreplay? Probably. Yep. Do you think they're going to go and do it later? Probably. <laughs> I'm sure they are.